Abby, this is a great map for the Panzer III. This is a great map with almost any tank that I've driven so far, even the crappy VK-2001H, because although it does get a little bit linear on the flanks, there are usually escapers for you to take. And if your tank is fast enough, you can take advantage of this, and that's exactly what I did in this round. So, of course, my rape spree on the enemy team was cut short by camping SU-76, which I, I did end up cursing out in the public chat, which was very fun. And he actually later, I think I killed by artillery, not even two seconds after he blew up my poor Panzer III, so that was very, very, very gratifying. And now what I'm doing here, I'm just dicking around with the camera angles, and that's just what I do when I'm bored. Because <laughs> I haven't found any enemies yet, so I'm, I'll just briefly check the list of tanks that I can take on. The only one I really can't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with is the Churchill, because he has a 176mm of frontal armor, and it's decently sloped. That was an unintentional design. I hear me born why don't you circle of deathing anybody? That's because I, I think I might probably get shots on people in the city. This quickly becomes apparent that I can't. The Panzer III's gun is very nice, but it's very nice up close. You know, it loses actually quickly at range, it loses damage and penetration even faster at range. So just bring enemies in close if you want to use this gun. It, it's a great gun. Nice rate of fire, nice penetration. Damage is pretty good, so. I mean, it, it's just an all around great gun for the aggressive tanker. Up oh, and here's my first victim, the M5. Not to be confused with the sports sedan built by BMW. You know, there's no twin turbocharged V8 in this machine. You know, what is in this tank are a bunch of holes that I punched into it. And there we go. The M5 is kablooied. Interesting figure of speech there. Now, I don't know if he was using one of the short barrel guns, but you know, as easy as those tanks are to get crapped on by higher tier tanks, you do need to be careful. They can sometimes mount big guns like on some of the later things, like the Chavy came out of 105, I believe. Which can definitely make your life suck. If you are at close range and he shoots you in a, in a weak part of your armor, like the side, especially for the Panzer III. I, I've been one-hit killed before. I'll admit it. <laughs> it wasn't fun. That's why I get on them as fast as I can. I shoot their tracks off and I can just do the circle of death. And obviously the M5 I didn't need to. I got three good hits on them before. Now with this guy here, what is this, a T T eighty two or something? I try and use the turret not turret, I try to use a good hull traverse and it works. Shoot him twice, hit him in the tracks, and he dies. Beautiful, beautiful. So then I think a buddy of mine comes behind me he's in a T twenty eight. Yeah, I think okay, well I'm sure we can at least harass this Churchill, get some points off damaging it or something. And obviously the Churchill is he's he's no idiot. He so he sees this coming long before we're even in third gear. So, unfortunately, I end up taking some damage unnecessarily here, but, you know, I, I decided to include this because it, it'll give you a, a more full picture of my gameplay and this match in particular. I'm thinking, oh, we got this. The T-20's got a nice big gun. I'm thinking, oh, God. Oh, yeah, we're in over our heads. He, he's, his hull is already facing us, so I'm, I, I, you know, I, I pop a couple quick shots off at him, and then, you know, I run. Because that Churchill, it's got a really nice rate of fire. Yep, he starts smashing into my hull. He, he, he. Ooh, wow, that almost killed me. Because what I was going to do, I was going to try and revert, try and quickly spin my hull around because I have thicker armor on the back and on the sides. But I'm going to say, F this in the chat. I'll, I'll go and kill something that I, I actually have a chance against. You know, I, I do enjoy punching above my tier with this tank. It's a ton of fun. You know, I, I, I used to have a video file here. I deleted it. I took a full health T14 all the way down to below 30% with the Panzer III. I just kept plugging him in the rear armor, in the side armor. It was so fun. This guy gets wrecked. Beautiful. See, by all accounts, this this is going really well. And I see the grill here. Now, what happens here is interesting. I shoot him. I, th I think that kills a crew member or something. I figure, well, I might as well rush him. He probably doesn't know where that shot came from. I blind fire. That was a pretty good shot. I still had a nice cone of accuracy there, and then, yeah, this is a little SOB that kills me. Yep, yep, yep. And there comes my death. Pussy. So, yeah, you know, I Chris out tell him he's a waste of semen, you have no balls for camping with an SU-76, blah, 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 blah. Then, you know, one of our artillery pieces kills him, and really, that was a gratifying moment. So, we ended up capturing the enemy base, and it actually was a pretty close round. It was 14 to 12. We won by only two kills, which is pretty cool. So check the stats. Killed four enemy tanks, damaged another, and discovered four enemy tanks, which isn't bad. This this wasn't a very long round, but it was very productive, and that's really what I like with the Panzer III. You don't have to be on the battlefield long to make a difference, and you know, that's that's as good as any battle award.